What's the deal, people? Big Ox here. And the gameplay that you're seeing right now is Plants vs. Zombies Garden Warfare. Pretty good game. You have to have PlayStation Plus to play it, but other than that, pretty good game. Now to the news. I have no idea how that how Walmart did not see this. Um, a Denver man bought a PS4 at Walmart, and he was shocked when he when he opened it. There was two bags of perfectly sealed rocks, not not you know type drug type, actual rocks like pretty much you see out in the street or anywhere else on the ground or whatever um i work at walmart and this this like blows my mind because when somebody returns something this and what's what's bad what's bad about this this was a return item a return item and a guy bought it well he was trying to buy it for his niece, you know, for Christmas and stuff like that, and he pretty much got kind of screwed, <laughs> which is kind of is kind of funny but messed up at the same time. You know what blows my mind about that? That the people at the service center did not check check the PS4 when the first person returned it. Did not check it whatsoever. That blows my mind. That. People are too lazy to check the item, check the, if all the contents was in the box. And I'm just like, blown, mind blown. Tells you right now, people, people are really lazy. I mean, I mean, I don't like my job, but it's still a job. It provides me doing the stuff I'm doing right now, <laughs> but hell. I'm not going to lose my job over something something that stupid. Well, he tried to return the item, but we we came we tried to come back, but they are were already closed. So he tried to go to a different Walmart to get an exchange. Well, they gave him a hassle. Seriously, do you really think it's going to go well? I mean, you go to the to the service center. Tell them that, look, I got this PS4, just pur purchased it at a different Walmart. When I opened the box, I found these two big rocks in it. Can I get my money back? Is there some way to get my money back? You really think that's going to go out, go pretty well? I don't think so because one, they're going to think that you freaking put it in there. So pretty much they gave my pretty much gave him a, a huge argument about it. So he got pissed off and left. Now, he went back to the other Walmart, the original one he bought it from. And the people told him there's nothing they could do about it, which they actually had the right to say that because, you know, they don't know if you put the rocks in there or what. You purchased it, it's your responsibility. Even though if you had the receipt, I mean, sorry, it happened, it happened. So, he called corporate and complained about it. And the corporate people told him like, yeah, just bring it back, we'll get your money back for it. Okay. I'm gonna put my two cents in. When you buy something used, you always, always, always make sure that the stuff works properly or make sure that everything's in the freaking box. Everything. I mean, come on, that's that's like you buying buying a freaking a freaking vehicle. You always check everything is working properly. Always. Some people, some people don't. <laughs> you wouldn't have, you, people wouldn't like this, wouldn't be 
person like him wouldn't wouldn't be in this situation if he would check check the box. It could have took took thirty seconds, thirty seconds to a minute to, to check it. Simple, pretty much simple. But he he had this freaking crap onto him. But yeah, that that is crazy. That is totally crazy. Um, I'll leave the, the link in the description below. But yeah, leave your comments. <laughs> anything about this article because wow it's crazy it is truly crazy but anyways this is your boy big ox signing out